Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate the application of single factor productivity, but this time working backwards from a defined productivity level to determine how many employees you need. So in this problem, this year, Benson will produce 57,600 hot water heaters at its plant in order to meet its global demand. And to accomplish that, each laborer will work 160 hours per month. If we know that the labor productivity at the plant is 0.15 heaters per hour, how many laborers are employed at the plant? Well, the first thing to note here is this 57,600 is per year, but the worker effort is per month. So uh, we'll have to make sure that we account for those differences. In essence, here's what we have for variables. Production equals 57,600 heaters per year. The worker effort is 160 hours per month. And our current single factor productivity for labor is given to us as 0 0.15 heaters per hour. Well, recall that the formula for single factor productivity is equal to the units of output divided by the units of input. And in this case, we now are told that the single factor productivity for this one is 0 0.15. So we know the answer. And that is going to be equal to the output of 57,600 heaters per year divided by the input of 160 hours per month times 12 months. This is a very important piece. And we're going to multiply that by x, which is the number of workers. So working this through then, 0 0.15 is equal to 57,600 divided by, when you take 160 hours times 12, that's going to be 1,920, and we're going to multiply that by x. So when we do our basic cross multiplication, what we have is 288x equal to 57,600, so x must be equal to 57,600 divided by 288, and that is 200 workers. Now you could also base this on the number of months, so I'm going to put an or here. We could make 0 0.15 equal to 57,600 divided by 12 months, and then take that over 160 hours times the number of workers. In this case, we'll get 24x equal to 57,600 divided by 12 is equal to 4,800. So x is equal to 4,800 divided by 24, which also equals 200 workers. And so that's how you go from a starting single factor productivity to determine the number of workers, where the input is basically the number of hours times the number of workers. Hope you found this one useful.